It is cold. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Gavin. Today, we have some more Utah weather, unfortunately. It is snowing pretty hard. I just barely got here, and there's already quite a bit of snow piled up on the truck, but that's not gonna stop us from working on the E36 because I am stoked to do what we have to do today, and that is put another mod on the car. If you remember in the last episode where we put the front lip on the car, I showed you guys a box that's right over here and said this is going to be the next thing we're going to be doing to the car. So let's open this thing up and uh, we'll see if you guessed in the comments if you were right or if you were wrong. Here we go. <laughs> what the heck could this thing be? Let's find out. No! We're gonna have to wipe this thing off. Snow's landing on it. Okay, okay, let's unroll this styrofoam here and see what we got. Whoa! <laughs> this thing looks sick! Whoa! Check it out. It's a trunk lip. <laughs> so if you guessed that this thing was a lip for the trunk, or a spoiler, I guess, you're pretty much right. Let's take a closer look at this thing and we'll dive into all the details about it. So if you want to pick one up yourself, you can. By the way, the link to this exact trunk lip will be in the description below. Okay, so I actually found this lip on, uh, on eBay, but I've had some pretty good luck recently as far as buying things that are cheap and still having good quality like the front lip and this lip spoiler here. So when you look online in the ad, it's actually black, it's unpainted. But as you can tell, they paint it the exact same color as your vehicle. So this thing cost me 80 bucks shipped and painted. For that price, I did kind of expect it to be something that might not be that great of quality, especially the paint job. And that was okay because of the paint job stock that I just was gonna dip it black or paint it black and put it on the car anyways. But it ended up turning out really good. Now I've seen some other trunk lips where the edges on here are a little more curved and I just didn't think that that matched the look of the E36 because there's a lot of lines on this thing that have a little boxier dimensions, and I wanted that to kind of be carried along with the trunk lip. Let me also mention that this was not given to me for free. I paid for it, like I said, 80 bucks. And I just want you guys to know the experience that I had because sometimes eBay products can be a little sketchy. But the customer service uh, when you buy this lip is amazing. So as far as the details on the lip go, as I mentioned, I picked it up on eBay for about 80 bucks, and that's 80 bucks shipped and 80 bucks painted. And so how the whole process works is you place the order, they'll send you a confirmation email, and then once this piece is made, which I think, or whenever they get it, is about two to three weeks, but you need to watch your email because in that two to three week period, they'll send you another email asking for the paint code of the paint that you want it painted. It doesn't mean you need to get it painted the same color as your car, just whatever color that you want, and uh, I was a little sketched out about having something that was only 80 bucks shipped be painted for me. I was concerned it wouldn't look that great, but as you guys can see, the paint is pretty perfect, no matter where you look. So anyways, you give them the paint code, and then a few days later, it's painted and shipped out to you. And I have to say that uh, I'm really satisfied with the customer service, with them being able to email me and ask for the paint codes and get back to me so quickly. And not only that, they saw that I was gonna have this thing shipped to Utah, and they knew that it was a cold climate, and so they said, hey, if it's cold and your lip isn't very flexible, make sure to use a hair dryer or a heat gun or something to heat it up so that you can bend it around your trunk and it will stick properly. And that's pretty cool that they would include that little detail. Also what's pretty cool is that they would include primer along with this thing to make sure that the tape sticks really well to your paint. That's something that a seller doesn't necessarily have to do, and it's something extra that should really be up to you to do, but they included it to make sure that you'd have a good experience putting your lip on your car. The only imperfection I've been able to find, if you can even call it much of that, is just right along there. You can see the paint got a little pushed up from when it was resting on something before the paint dried, but no big deal. See, you can even tell when I put this next to the trunk, I mean, lighting aside, that the paint matches pretty much perfectly. I'm excited to get this thing out in the actual sun when the weather's nice to see a better look at what this looks like once it's on the car. I only have about an hour left of light, so let's get throwing that thing on the car before it gets too dark. So how you attach it is this 3M tape down here. Anytime that you're gonna use this type of adhesive, you have to make sure that the surface that you're going to be putting it on is 
perfectly clean. So we're going to go ahead and clean this surface first where it's going to be sticking. And this lip also came with something else I'm about to show you in a minute once this is cleaned off. Let's get a little taste. Oh, this thing's going to be so sick. Thing. I've been looking for something for the trunk of the car since I got it. Not that I think that a wingless trunk looks bad. I just wanted to put something else here to spice things up a little bit. So there is, I'll throw it on the screen, this smaller lip that goes along the back that comes with the car's OEM. I thought that was just a little too small for my liking. And on the opposite end of the spectrum were the Rocket Bunny type trunk lips that were just a little too big for my personality. As I mentioned when I put this front lip on the car in the last upload, I like things that pretty much look OEM, just a little more extreme. Something that looks like it could have come on the car when it was stock. And so after looking for a really long time, I ended up finding this thing that seemed to be a happy medium where it was definitely bigger than the small lips that go on the back that come on the cars. And it definitely was a lot smaller than the Rocket Bunny ones that are like twice this size and have a straight edge along the side. Still can't quite get to putting this stuff on yet because this metal is freezing cold and this tape doesn't stick very well when it's cold. I think right now it's below 30 degrees outside. So we get to have some fun with fire. <laughs> We're gonna use this torch right here. Obviously I'm gonna be as careful as I can and hold it kind of far enough away from the car that it just will heat it up but we won't risk burning or bubbling any paint. Oh my gosh. So now it's time to use this primer that it came with. It says that basically you use this felt tip to apply it to wherever you're gonna be sticking the tape and then let it dry in normal conditions for 60 seconds, but up to 10 minutes if you wanted. Because it's freezing cold here and the humidity is a little bit higher, I'm definitely gonna let it dry for longer than 60 seconds. That being said, I'll apply primer about one to two inches all along the back of this trunk. And that was a great tip that they gave me to heat this thing up if it wasn't quite flimsy enough. I mean, it felt like it was bendy enough when it's cold, but I heated it up a little bit and it's a lot more flexible now, which is gonna make it way easier to put on the car. All right, guys. So you might notice we're in a bit of a different setting here right now. So I ended up pulling off the uh, red plastic on the double-sided tape and sticking it on the car. And I really took my time to make sure that that curve was perfect along the edge of the trunk because I knew that it would suck yet to pull it back off and redo it. After I did that, it was a little bit too dark. And so I wasn't gonna be able to give you guys a good view of what everything looked like. But now uh, we have a little more light. It's the next day. It's freezing cold out here, but I really want to show you guys how everything looked. So what do you say we take a look at how everything turned out? I have to say that I am super stoked on how this thing turned out. I couldn't be happier with it. Check out the fitment on this sucker. So as you can see, I left like a couple millimeters on one side when I started it. And that ended up working out perfect because it's about the same on this side too. So if you're gonna put this on yourself, make sure you leave just a tiny bit of room uh, when you're applying it on. I'll give you guys a little bit of a lower look from the back. I really like how the edges kind of have a nice curve to them. It matches the body lines of the car really well. And when I was putting this thing on, it did make it a lot easier to heat it up because not only do you have to curve it this way along the curve of the trunk, but it also needs to curve this way. And having it warmed up a little bit, not super hot or anything, just, uh, you know, warm enough. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier to bend and curve around that so that these edges will stick down against the car. Now, I do need to mention that the double-sided stick tape that you use, if you've never used it before, is really, really sticky. So make sure you get it right the first time or you're gonna have to use heat and a lot of patience to get it off and put new tape on there so you can give it another go. I could easily see a seller charging 150, 250 bucks for a part like this, especially painted, with how good the fitment is. At 80 bucks off of eBay, this is definitely a steal. And if you're a little worried about just using double-sided tape to stick these things on, I can understand that. But 
I mean, that's not really moving at all, and I'm shaking the car by doing this. So it's definitely on there pretty solid. I could definitely see this as being some kind of factory option. It doesn't look too out of place or too wild or anything. And just kind of fits that, as one of you subscribers called it, OEM Plus look that I was going for along with this front lip. I know I've done two episodes in a row where we've done installs. I hope you guys have enjoyed them both, and I hope that they've helped you out if you're looking for similar parts on your car. I'm really digging it. Between the last two things that we've done to the car, I'm really happy how everything's turning out. Although they're just little things, I feel like they make a big difference in how the car ends up looking overall. I really want to thank you all for joining me again today for another episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So if you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for coming back. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you guys did enjoy today's video, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.